With tales of intrigue, slick camera work and a pulsating soundtrack, Al Jamar is a soap opera to rival any other. But the Egyptian series, known as The Group, is courting as much controversy as it is attracting viewers. First broadcast during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan, the program focuses on the Muslim Brotherhood, an influential Islamist group founded in Egypt in 1928. Despite the show drawing millions of fans across the Arab world, the organization, which has renounced violence and now controls a fifth of parliament, is incensed by what it sees as an unflattering portrayal of its history, a point disputed by the program's creators. The soap opera tells the truth based on books written by the Brotherhood themselves. The fact that they're disputing it is none of my concern. This is just the Brotherhood's usual strategy whenever a new piece of work does not suit their interests. But the Brotherhood, which has faced numerous government crackdowns, say the show depicts them as violent extremists and is timed just three months before elections to undermine their support. I am demanding a court case against the production company that made the group, the director and those from the censorship department at the Ministry of Culture for allowing the soap opera. Viewing figures of the group may be high, but not everyone is convinced. A lot of young people in Egypt don't know anything about the Brotherhood. They hear so much contradictory information, so they are curious to know if it's actually good or bad. But a soap opera should not be considered a real reference. And with elections just around the corner, viewers and voters will soon have to make up their own minds.